Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you a workaround that will hopefully get your Wi-Fi back if you're having this annoying issue where it says the private DNS server cannot be accessed and you have that little question mark next to your Wi-Fi. Now, right now, my phone will connect because it's connecting via the mobile network, not the Wi-Fi network. This is happening every time I turn my phone on for the last three weeks since I did the latest update. Hopefully, the bug will be sorted out. But until then, this is a little workaround that will hopefully get you up and running again. So, for example, if I was just to turn the Wi-Fi off and then back on again, after about 30 seconds or so, it will come up with the same error message. Let me fast forward through that. There you go. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into settings, and we're gonna go to connections, and we're gonna go to more connection settings, and private DNS. We're gonna set it to automatic. Some people recommend off, but I'm thinking automatic might be better for security rather than off. And for me, it makes no difference whether I do either of these two. Now I'm gonna to go to save. And now, if we were to turn our Wi-Fi off and then back on again, it will work. Now every time we turn our phone back on, it will come up with that error message, even though we've done that. But if we just hit the Wi-Fi symbol off and then back on again, it will connect every single time. So right now, I'm gonna turn my phone off and back on again and I just wanna show you it not working and then what to do from now on. Now, if you know a proper fix for this rather than a workaround, please add it to the comments down below. Now, don't be fooled into thinking it's gonna work if you can see the Wi-Fi symbol because after about two minutes, that's when the error comes up. And there we go, it comes up again. But if we just go to our Wi-Fi, turn it off and then back on again, this time it will work. The odd time I have to do it twice, which is annoying. But look, if I uh, turn off my mobile data, so you can see now the only access I have to the internet is via the Wi-Fi. And now if I go into here, and if I was to go to BBC, you will see now that I am actually connected to the internet. So that's it, that is a workaround to get it up and running again. So just to quickly recap, you go to settings, you go to connections, you go to more connection settings, you change the private DNS to automatic and save it, and then every time you turn your phone on from there forward, all you'll have to do is go down, turn Wi-Fi off, and then back on again, and it will connect up just fine. Thanks so much for watching.